Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course on Introduction to Material Science and Engineering offered by Edupedia World. We have been discussing recently about the different kind of strengthening mechanisms that can strengthen a material. Last lecture was on strain hardening. Today we will discuss a few more strengthening mechanisms in very short. The idea is that today's discussion will see precipitation and dispersion strengthening and then something which is known as transformation hardening. Precipitates and dispersions are basically second phase particles. What do I mean? They are kind of alien particles within a matrix of a metal. Okay, so they do not belong to the same crystal, they might not belong to the same crystal structure and they are visually different entities present within a matrix and these precipitates or dispersed dispersions are uniformly dispersed throughout the matrix. Okay, so basically what we have in this type of strengthening mechanisms in precipitation strengthening or dispersion strengthening is presence of second phase particles. We'll understand the concept of phase in much more details from next lecture but for the time being just assume that it is a different physically different entity than the bulk of the system. Okay. Now in precipitation hardening what happens is that we have small precipitates. Precipitates are solid particles of the second phase, right? Which are dispersed throughout the bulk. So something like this can be there that you have a bulk and maybe you have silicon carbide precipitate particles dispersed like this. Okay? silicon carbide dispersed in the bulk which might be aluminium for example aluminium bulk silicon carbide particles okay now there are special heat treatment schedules in order to create the precipitate particles this precipitation hardening we'll see in much more details in a later lecture for the time being just assume that it is a second phase in a matrix and uh, this special heat treatment process leads to the formation of fine precipitates in the bulk. Age hardening is an alternative term used for precipitation hardening. What this means is that precipitation hardening the hardness of the material the strength of the material increases with time this whole concept will revisit in the next lecture the second thing which we discussed here is known as dispersion strengthening in dispersion strengthening what is happening is we have extremely small uniformly dispersed particle throughout the matrix similar to precipitation hardening but here we have extremely small particles dispersed throughout. Okay, so the idea is common between both precipitation and dispersion strengthening. The mechanism of formation of precipitates or dispersions may be different, but the idea is same that it is a second phase within a first phase. Now, why does it matter? Why does the presence of a second phase matter and how exactly is it going to strengthen the material? The possible mechanisms are shown over here. This is shown for precipitates, but similar phenomena can happen for dispersion strengthening also. What can happen is if the precipitate particle is not very very hard, then the dislocation can cut through the precipitate particle. Okay. And in cutting through the precipitate particle, what is happening? It is basically creating a ridge, one step over here. That is what cutting through the precipitate means. And it is reaching the other end, right? But for this to happen, it requires a lot of energy. It requires a lot of stress. Therefore, this leads to increase in strength of the material. 
So one of the mechanism is particle cutting or the precipitate cutting. The second mechanism is particle looping or looping around the precipitate. In this method what will happen is that the dislocation goes around the precipitate and forms a loop. So the mechanism is something like this. Here is the precipitate. The next step what we will see is the precipitate is here and it is basically bowing around the precipitate and the, then you have a whole dislocation loop left over here and the dislocation passes through okay now this requires energy and that increases the strength but in addition to this what is happening that if a second dislocation now comes then this will have a lot more repulsion due to the dislocation loop present here and this will again create another loop so further for another dislocation the third dislocation will be further repelled this way the continuous increase in number of loops around the particle leads to an increase in strength uh, due to the repulsion faced by incoming dislocations okay so this two methods are for precipitation strengthening for dispersion strengthening it is mainly particle looping or dispersion looping will be taking place we will as i said revisit the precipitation hardening because it is a topic in itself we'll do that in a few lectures from now but uh, this was the basic idea uh, behind precipitation and dispersion strengthening. Finally, let us see something which is known as transformation hardening. Transformation hardening is a method of, is a mechanism of strengthening, but this does not deal with uh, dislocations. In this, what is happening is basically you heat treat the material in such a way that the phase changes. You have soft phase, you heat treat it, and you get a harder phase thereby a more stronger phase thereby the strength increases so it is basically a change in the crystal structure itself taking place there can be different reasons for the change but the fundamental idea is phase change into a more strong material leading to the strengthening mechanism one of the most prominent transformation hardening methods is known as martensitic transformation. In martensitic transformation what is happening is uh, a BCC iron is getting converted to BCT martensite. BCC to BCT what is entered tetragonal. In this what is happening is the material is getting super saturated with carbon atoms. Okay, the carbon atoms are super saturating the structure thereby instead of a cubic system we are getting a tetragonal system which has a lot of strain inside it and that increase in strain leads to increase in hardness or strength of the material. Okay, then we have alternatively what is known as Benetic transformation. Benite is also a hard phase not as tough as uh, rather not as strong as martensite but benite is stronger than body centered cubic iron now the compromise again in transformation hardening is though we get an increase in strength we actually get a reduction in ductility in most of the cases so the transformation hardening specifically the martensitic transformation we will discuss in further details in the future lectures so today's lecture the difference was that we have different phases taking place we are concerned with phases the previous hardening systems or previous strengthening mechanisms did not involve phases multi phases in today's lecture the precipitation hardening, the dispersion hardening and the transformation hardening involves different phases. So in order to get a grip, better grip of the physics behind it, we need to understand what is phase and how does phase transformation take place. That will be done from next lecture.
so that's uh, it for today's lecture and uh, that's it for the different strengthening mechanisms hope you join us in the next lecture till then have a great day goodbye